Yeah, so we're so happy to have you here. Welcome, Alia. Thank you, thank we you. We brought out the sun for you. Thank you, hi, hello. I am, and you are? You are the Incredible Hulk? That says your T-shirt. <laughs> Hi. You got a gift for me and my daughter? What is it? Oh, that's... That's so sweet. She's got me a gift for me and my daughter, Raha. And I've got a gift for you all. Oh, you want to give me the gift? Thank you. Thank you. Can I give you a hug? Okay, I'm going to just keep this on the side so I don't lose it. Okay, I know it's very hot, so I'm going to get right to it. Um, so we're all here today for the Storyverse Children's Lit Fest. First time happening at JWD. Thank you so much to JWD for hosting this. Y'all are always... Going from strength to strength when it comes to entertainment for families and this is just another massive feather in your cap and Edamama is so, so, so proud to be associated with it. Um, so today I'm here, actually it's a very emotional day for me. I'm a little si emotional because actually um, today's my grandfather's birthday. He passed away a couple of years ago. Uh, my mama's papa. And um, I only remember in my childhood, I was only living in the stories of my grandfather. He would call me up and he would tell me stories about three characters, Chunnu, Gunnu and Munnu. Okay, I don't know what Chunnu, Gunnu and Munnu were. They could be rabbits, they could be mice, they could be ants. But Chunnu, Gunnu, Munnu jate the adventures pe. Kuch, kuch gadwad hota tha, picnic pe jate the, trek pe jate the, pura ghar ko pani ke saath bhar dete the. It was always some problem that Chunnu, Gunnu, Munnu had to fix. But what I was in my is I was becoming this imaginative storyteller in my brain. So I remember as a kid, my sister, Shaheen, would sit in the bathroom and read Harry Potter books. And I would be sitting and staring outside the window and just staying with my imagination because that's the door that my grandfather opened in my brain. So on his birthday today, I am going to launch the first book from the Edamama universe. And that book is called Ed Finds a Home. And this is just the beginning of the adventures of Edamama. So Edamama ka jo ek shurua tha, it started with this story. And since I'm talking about telling a story, I can't go ahead and launch this book and claim that I have everything to do with it because that's absolutely untrue. I have my co-storytellers who, without whom I would not have been able to put this book together. Um, I'm so, so grateful. Shaheen is the author in the family. I'm still the actor and the storyteller. Um, but this is something that has been such a blessing. So I'm so grateful. Vivek Kamath, you are, uh, please come. Vivek Kamath has been with me since the beginning of my journey as an actor and now the beginning of my journey as a storyteller. And he is the best storyteller I have ever seen. The messages he sends me on my birthday are one for keeps. I frame them up and I will put them up on my wall every year. So thank you so much, Vivek. Vivek and I are so grateful to have Shabnam Meenwala on our team. She is, a, please come Shabnam, an award-winning writer, mastered her space. Um, Shabnam, you've added so much to the universe of Edamama, to the story Ed Finds a Home. All your contribution, every little thing has made such a big difference to the story coming to life. And none of it would be possible. No, no, you stay here only. None of it would have been possible. When you book, when you open the book, what do you, what screams out to you? Pictures? Colors? Illustration? Tanvi Bhatt. Who? Please come. Tanvi Bhatt. A lot of people ask me, is Tanvi Bhatt your sister? Because we share the same surname. I said, whoever's a part of the Edamama family is my sister. So thank you so much, Tanvi, for giving your, your hand and your art to the book of Ed Finds a Home and giving us this beautiful illustration. And uh, I'm going jabar 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 jabar, but I think now we're going to launch the book. 
we'll do a little reading and then we'll uh, go home, okay? Eat some food and chill. So should we launch the book now? Please. We're all set, all yours, right up here, please. Okay, we can all come up on stage. Uh, Alia, would you like to yeah. go up, please? No, no, I'm just gonna, I have one more person to introduce. Yes. Please go up yeah, on stage. Yeah. No, no, children, you need to sit down, please. We can see it better. Okay, one other here. thing that I have to add, yeah, which is the most important thing. Book kaha se aata hai? Publisher se aata hai? So Shohini, we have to have you on stage. Thank you so much, Shohini from Penguin. This has been such a such an amazing experience, and also you've been instrumental in making it possible for us to print these pages on FSC certified paper because we all want to be thoughtful and kind towards our planet. So please come on stage, Shohini, and we're going to now launch the book. It's a cake for me. That's so sweet. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. So my mom and sister are here with me today, the original writers in the family. Uh, so mama, Tanna, please come. Uh, Raha is uh, sleeping. She's already read the book. Huh? <laughs> She's definitely influenced part of it. Uh, should we sit here? Okay, so we're going to do a little reading. You start. Okay. Can you hear me? Can everybody hear me? It was a bright and sunny Sunday morning, just like today. A time to play football, a time to eat ice cream, a time to be happy. But not everyone was happy, or so thought the crow as he flew over the beach. 
there was a little dog on the beach. He was sitting next to some boxes, bottles, and torn wrapping paper. He looked frightened, he looked hungry, and he looked very lonely. There was a small brown house near the beach, and in the house lived a little girl. She looked troubled, she looked worried, and she too looked very, very lonely. It was a busy beach. People were playing, eating, walking, and talking. A woman came up to the little dog. Are you lost? Are you hungry? She asked kindly. Please take me home, cried the dog. But the woman only heard, woof, woof, woof. She patted the little dog and left. Things were busy in the small brown house too. The mother was working, the father was cooking, and the little girl was quietly listening. For she could hear a jumble of voices outside the window, whispering, grumbling, mumbling. But who was talking? There was no one around, just the birds and the trees. Please stop, cried the little girl. But the voices did not stop. Instead, she heard a bossy voice say loudly, go to the beach, there is someone who needs your help. The girl jumped, she looked around. All she saw was a crow, and crows don't talk. And then she wondered, who needs my help? So she quickly ran towards the beach. At the beach, she saw some boxes, some bottles, torn wrapping paper, and a dog. The most beautiful dog in the whole wide world. He was brown and white with eyes like molten chocolate. Why are you all alone, little dog? Asked the girl. The little dog said nothing. He had talked all day, but nobody listened. Tired and sad, he closed his eyes. When he opened his eyes, the little girl was still there. Do you need help? She asked. The dog decided to try one last time. Nobody wants me, he said. I have nowhere to go. The little girl was shocked. Who said that? She asked, looking here and there. There was no one around, only the dog. And dogs don't talk. Who said that? The little girl asked again. I did, said the little dog. But dogs can't talk, said the little girl. Of course we can, exclaimed the little dog. People just don't know how to listen. Okay, I'm going to stop right here because then nobody's going to buy the book. And then you'll have to buy the book to understand what happened after that. But this is the story about how Ed finds a home and that is our lead <laughs> hero and heroine, Ed and the little girl whose name is Alia. In this book, but actually her name is Mama. Okay, what did you all think of the book? It's, I just read a bit, couple of pages. Do you like it? So you basically understood that this girl has a superpower and she can talk to animals. Have any of you ever felt that you can talk to animals? You can? Woof, woof, woof. You talk like an animal, but have you talked to an animal? Like when a dog talks to you, do you feel like he's talking to you? Right? You have a dog at home? How many of you have dogs at home? Okay, how many of you? That's a stupid question. I know, so do I. Uh, how many of you love dogs? How many of you love cats? Wow, I'm so happy. You have a cat? You're a great human being. Um, you have a kitten? Lovely. How many of you love animals? How many of you love nature? Okay. That's great. It's lovely. I think uh, you all will love the book. And uh, this is just the beginning, as I said. Thank you so much for coming out here. And uh, please buy the book. Otherwise, um, it'll get uh, my dress and all was really wasted to come all the way here. Uh, there's an Ed Mama pop-up. Uh, you will find some clothes as well. Um, I, uh, yeah, that's it. Anything else? Do I have to do anything else? Yeah, okay, so we've got a little tree at the Edamama pop-up, 
and um, you can put your planet pledge. The planet pledge means what you will, your pledge to do something better for your planet. I put my pledge already. Um, and um, have a great time. Otherwise, you're having a good time. You're happy. I know it's hot, um, but you're all happy. Alia, may I ask you a question? Yeah, you may. Do you have a dog? Yes, I do have a dog. Did your dog say anything to you this morning before you came here? Uh, in dog language. In dog language, he didn't say much. He just looked at me. He was a bit sleepy. Oh. Um, but I know he wishes me well. Oh. <laughs> all right. Great. My cat spoke to me in the morning, I think. Uh, the, the book is available at Penguin Random House, right opposite. I think we have some signed copies too. Uh, I've signed so a lot of copies over the last couple of weeks. I was signing about three hours a day. Uh, so please take a signed copy home. Yeah. <laughs> buy a signed copy. Yeah, please buy a signed copy. <laughs> thank you so all much right. for coming. Thank you for my lovely present. Thank you for my cake. And thank you all for being here. And please keep reading, keep learning, keep growing. And um, uh, just and telling stories and reading stories and being Be the nice wonderful the people planet. that you are. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, thank you.